Welcome to our lesson on algebraic expressions and diagrams. So this is our first lesson on algebraic notation. It's a nice way of introducing that different letters represent different values. So we're going to begin by working out the area of shape A. And we know that a square has an area of X. And a quarter circle has an area of Y. So for question A we have 1, 2, 3 X's and one y term we can write this as a long addition and now we can collect the like terms here we've got 3x plus y and for question b we have one x here and two y's here and here so we have x plus y plus y we can simplify this to make 2y so x plus 2y this could also be written as 2y plus x. Either way is correct. Okay, let's move on to question C. So do you want to try and work out the simplified expression for questions C, D and E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question C, we've got four quarter circles, which make up a full circle. So the total area is y, add y, add y, add y which we can simplify to make 4y. For question D, we've got 5x's, which you can write as 5x, and 1, 2, 3, 4y. So 5x and 4y. Again, we could write it as 4y plus 5x. And for question E, well, I'm going to begin by showing x, which is the square. And this is a blue square. Now I'm going to take away from this blue square a quarter circle, which is the y. So you can see we began with the x and we took away the y. So it is x minus y. Okay, let's try one more question. So do you want to try and write a simplified expression for the blue area in question f? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So this is a bit like question E, where we have a X, which is a blue square. And we're taking away the quarter circle. But we're doing this four times. We have one here, two, three and four. So we have four lots of X minus Y. This is perfectly valid as a final answer. We could also expand the brackets where we have four X minus 4y okay thank you for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care